Hey, what's up guys, it's George. Uh, just a quick note before the start of the video, I am going to let you guys know that they're gonna be kind of out of order. Uh, I just, I wanted to release the Japanese set, uh, Booster Box set video first. However, I hadn't had the time to edit it. Uh, I'm doing the Booster Box for the English set for Sword and Shield first. So that's why you're probably gonna see a kind of a discrepancy a little bit. Uh, I'm probably gonna say some things that I, uh, that, that, that doesn't make sense at the time, but it's going to make different sense in this video. Just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, I just know just know that I'm, I am working on these videos. I do have the uh, pre-release video working on too. I just wanted to get this booster box set video out first because I know it's priority. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Sorry for the discrepancy. But anyway, enough, to, uh, enough of this stupid thing. Let's just get to the video. Thanks. All right, enough of that crap. So let's get on with the booster box. So this is the Sword and Shield, the very first set that's introducing a whole new plethora of Pokemon, Pokemon versions. No longer will we be doing the GX or the tag teams. It's all going to be V, V Max, V Card. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a totally different experience. Uh, I'm so glad these are out. Um, I do have another booster box coming in next weekend. I just wanted to get the jump on it. Today is January, uh, February 3rd, I believe. I could be wrong. February 3rd, whatever. Um, yeah, it's February 3rd, um, Monday, and I am going to, you know, get this video done out the way, probably get this video out probably tomorrow or the day after, so look out for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I am on TikTok now. I am on Twitter. I am on Instagram, all this stuff here. You're going to see them pop up right here um, in a beautiful animated style, so um, follow me on those those links, especially TikTok. I do, like, little tidbits here and there. Uh, my girlfriend says I'm not funny, but I think I am, so let's prove her wrong. Um, anyway, so, and enough self-promotion, let's get right into it. But like I said, this is Sword and Shield, English set, booster box, let's get going. Alright, the cool thing about booster boxes is, bam, we don't have to deal with all the extra promotional crap. It's just gonna be the cool packs. Oh, I swear to you, after doing the, uh, Japanese set, it's refreshing to see... English sets, English packs again. I'm actually going to be able to know the names of these damn Pokemon. I have not played the game, Sword and Shield. I've been playing Legend of Zelda, um, A Link's Awakening. You can check out one of those videos. I put the gameplay videos um, just in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, oh, before I forget, the 100 subscriber giveaway is still a go. A whole ETB filled with code cards all the way da dating back from Ultra Prism, I think all the way to Hidden Fates. So if you guys want those code cards, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe because I will not give those out until I get 100 subscribers. The 50, 50 subscriber special was a little lackluster. I know my presentation was kind of lack, but I did provide that uh, person with a couple extra goodies um, on top of the Hidden Fates 10 that I gave him. Gave him. I gave him a couple of GX cards, a couple tag team cards, um, and sleep and double sleeved as well, just to, you know, just to, for good, goodness sake. But I need those subscribers so I can get rid of those damn cards. First pack. Um, I actually came prepared this time. I got the sleeves right next to me instead of having to wait uh, like before. But um, yep, there we go. Code card. Three to the front. We're looking for the Galacian uh, V. Um, uh, secret. So that's what we're looking for. Um, call it kind of new Pokemon here and there. Nice to finally see. Ooh, Hyper Potion Reverse Hollow. And up. Bam. Right there. Tapu Koko V. Holy crap. This is what I'm talking about. So my pre release luck was absolutely shit. Um, this booster box is already paying itself already. Tapu Koko V. Very first card. Pretty awesome. Spike Draw Thunderous Bolt. Pretty cool moves. And does it have texture? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. On the uh, actual card, on the lightning bolts, you can have a little texture there. That's pretty cool. Good enough. All right. Tabu Coco, boys. First pack. Awesome. I will open... I will be buying the Elite Trainer Box as well for this set, so I'll be having a video of that up and coming. Second booster box is on the way as well. All right. So, that was actually our very first pack, so that's a really good pull. I'm so excited for this new set. I'm just nice... I'm just really... Oh, did y'all notice that? Look at the energies. Little energy, like, uh, trail coming out of the energy card. That's really cool. It's a nice little touch. I like that. Good job, Pokemon. You did something right for once in your life. Um, but, okay, let's get going. Team Yelgrunt, I guess it's like the Team Rocket team. Hitmonlee makes a comeback with Hitmonchan in the back. So, Lazzle, weird pose. Uh, Freaking Cactus. Uh, the Pikachu. Galarian Meowth played this guy in the pre-release. Silizapede. All right. Wooloo. 
fucking cheap. And the ball toy is a little tabletop thing. And a Dreadnaw regular rare. Okay, look at Menace in there with the Vice Bite and Jaw Lock. All right, Sword and Shield. Yeah, I have kind of stopped opening Hidden Fates and Cosmic Eclipse. Um, jumping in right with the boat with uh, Sword and Shield. So let's get right into it. Okay, um, Reboot, the Torch Bunny, Score Bunny's Evolution. Sudowoodo, oh wow, what the heck, this is kind of cool. He's a little friend in the back there, kind of nervous. Probably doing something with the other hand, who knows. Um, Hop, probably the most overpowered card supporter that I used in the pre-release. You just draw three cards as a supporter, that's pretty good. Uh, Choodle, um, just don't be like me and have like three of them in your deck and kill yourself. Um, Rookie D, Krabby, Grookey. Reboot, Reverse, and ooh, a Stonjourner V. So I guess I pulled the uh, the uh, secret version or the full art. Uh, oh, wait, no, this may be the full art. Yeah, okay, with the background. Okay, I remember it. The background, if it has a background, it's full art. So this is the full art version. I guess I pulled the regular one um, during the pre-release video. So that's kind of cool. Oh, spoiler alert. But yeah, I pulled this card in the pre-release video. All right, another V card. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that stupid pun. All right, so out of three packs, we got two V cards. That's pretty cool. Going to keep a V card counter. In my... No, I'm just kidding. That'd be stupid. All right, there we go. Yeah. One, two, three, to the front. Getting rid of fighting energy. Fuck out of here. All right, heat more. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at there. Uh, Galarian Stunfisk. That's his weird Galarian version. So that they are introducing the Galarian forms from the video games. I have a potion. Um, so that's kind of nice. Score Bunny, Sinistee, Team Yoga Reverse, and a Galarian. Oh my god, the freaking My Little Pony has invaded Pokemon. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about this. Alright. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the unicorn, though. Uh, I alright. If you've played Sword and Shield, the video game, how is it? Let me know in the comments below what you think of the game. Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? I don't know. I have not played it. I will probably not play it because I'm not that big of a fan of Pokemon. I just like collecting the cards. Cards are fun. Games, eh. Emerald's my favorite. Next is Crystal. Because that cool looking case, man, that Crystal case was just lit. You can see through it, see all the gear, like the little chip and everything. That was really cool. Um... One, two, three. There we go. Boom. Fire energy. Cool little thing there. Pokemon Catcher. Haunter. Vitality Band. Ponyard. Slizipede. Yamper. Club. <laughs> a little freaking octopus with boxing gloves. What the hell? That's funny. Cottony. Literally a dandelion. Uh, Mawile Reverse. And a Corviknight. Regular Rare. Okay. So... That last two packs have been absolute trash. Please, God, kill me now. Next pack. Boom. Oh, man. All right. uh, so I learned something. I might make this a two-parter because there's so many damn packs here. Like, holy crap. There we go. Um, I might do some, like, stupid hook thing where I'll fade out to black a card of that that's really good that I get. Uh, I'll make sure... Ooh, Air Balloon. That was really popular. I'll make sure to, uh, <laughs> um, to leave you on a cliffhanger on a nice card that I pull. If I pull anything cool. Reverse hollow and a, ooh, look at this, a holographic bolt end. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I guess his pre-evolution's a corgi. And he turns into like some damn wolf looking thing. All right, so that's pretty cool. Bolt end, a electronic wolf, electric wolf. Woof, woof, sub wolf, my dude. All right, get this, god damn. One day I'll master that. One day, today's not that day. All right, bolt end. Back on this shitty card, apparently this is something that everyone's going to want because it re the retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two energies less. So apparently, like, if you want to retreat a Pokemon, so, um, you could actually, instead of spending two energies, if it were, was with two energies, it would actually make it two energies less. So it, it pretty much means you can just use the item, pull your Pokemon back to your bench, and your bench, po and then switch out whatever Pokemon you want. So this is actually a pretty good card. That's what I was told by all the nerds and curds at um, the pre-release um, the people who played it who actually play this game or are actually good at the game um, so if you're looking for the for a really cheesy card air balloons probably the perfect one 
to, to use in your deck. That's just what I've been told. So yeah, do it with you will. I don't know. I'm not a professional, so whatever. Next pack, boys. I probably should have kept count of what packs I'm opening. There we go. I don't really don't care. Okay. How's your day been? My day's been pretty good. The new job's been pretty chill. By the way, I got a new job. Um, all right, Gail Vantula. Oh, Galarian Linoon, the freaking AC or Kiss band player, whatever. Energy switch. Diglett. Scorruppy. Hoot Hoot. His return. Score Bunny. There he is. That's his name. Pikachu. And the freaking Octopus Pupper. And then, oh, wow. The. Oh, I thought it was a holographic for a second. Nope, just a regular Lapras with an Aqua Wash. Four energies. Do your opponent's active Pokemon enter their hand? <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. Actually, it's not really that good because you require four energy to do it, but you're kind of screwing over your opponent when you do that. That's pretty funny. Uh, I need I need new friends. I keep laughing at my stupid jokes. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We're looking for Zacian V Shiny, the gold card. That's the one we're looking for. All right, here we go. Code card. And the Psychic Energy. Okay. All right. Quillfish. Pokey Kid. Damn it. Energy Search. Score Bunny. Nick Bit. Stupid little fox looking. Chin Chow. Diglett. Frost Seed. Really cool art. Pal Pad is the reverse hollow. Okay. And uh, Corviknight again. Regular rare. The emo Metal Bird. Meta Knight, but in bird form. It's like if Meta Knight and Sky Marie had a baby. If I hit Juggernaut, I really don't care. You can keep looking at me all you want. I'm not going to change you. All right, let's go. Next, Pecky Peck. Come on. I want at least one more V card. Come on. All right. Um, oh, Rare Candy. Okay. Uh, Lumberry. Corvus Squire. Sizzlipede. A Snomawile. Gossifleur, Goldine, a Wimsa Scott, and a, hey, whoa, whoa, oh, wait, I messed that up. All right, a Morpico VMAX. There we go. Oh, look at this card. There, there it is. You all hear that? A little texture. That is a beautiful card. I pulled this guy in the Japanese set, actually, the VMAX version and the regular V. So, uh, oh, wait, wrong, wait, wrong order, George. Um, this is a beautiful card. More Pico V Max boys. Oh, that's awesome. He's you know kind of cute actually too. I think this is the one my girlfriend thought was cute when I pulled the Japanese set version. So I might show this to her. She might want to keep it. All right, let's get this sleeved up before Marshall yells at me. There we go. Because he does yell at me for not putting in the cards. There we go. I'm not on my. I don't have my slimy hands all over the card, so he can calm down now. Um, but yeah, for more Pico V Max, so that's a beautiful card. Hell yeah, I'm happy. Good booster box so far. Next pack, I'm feeling the energy now. The more Pico Max has revitalized my determination. I really want another V Max. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would. All right, one, two, three, to the front. Sand, water energy. All right, Aluma Berry. Uh, Aurora Energy. I thought this car was looking uh, was looking pretty slick because when I pulled it, I thought it was something really rare, and the guy told me it's not. But it looks really cool. I think the little cosmic element of the Aurora Energy. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Oh wow, a giant ram, little dude. Freaking. <sighs> this is my little pony, isn't it? Oh Nintendo, you scare me. You worry me. Stupid cactus, <laughs> stupid little donkey, kicking the Pokeball. Watch he kicks and captures himself. Ponyard, and a Rhyhorn, throwing out the classics reverse, and a stupid teapot from Beauty and the Beast. Wow, he li <sighs> Is this a joke? I've honestly lost all faith with the Nintendo. But the show must go on, so I will keep opening these packs, despite my disappointment. I, I really do believe Nintendos were like going to the scrape from the bottom of the damn barrel for these Pokemon. Like, I swear, like, these Pokemon, like, monsters or whatever, they're just really, really, um, just really bad, if, to be quite honest. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. All right. An Evolution Incense, Salazzle, Bisharp, the evolution of the Potty R, whatever his name is, Rhyhorn, the stupid, uh, octopus glove thing, boxing glove, Goldine, Roselia, 
Ghastly, Ghastly Reverse, love the double there, and a freaking Cloyster. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. oh, I thought it was holographic. No. Uh, Cloyster is actually one of my OG favorite Pokemon. Shelter into Cloyster was probably, yeah, my favorite card. I think I have the very first card printed out. It's not worth anything, but it's probably one of my favorites um, when I used to collect them back when I was a kid. So I did used to collect them. I just kind of fell out of it when I, you know, turned nine years old. So next pack. Also, one thing I like to say is that these are much easier to open compared to the uh, Japanese sets because Japanese sets, they have like a longer packaging. So uh, I ended up using like a pair of scissors. I've seen other YouTubers do that. And I was like, I wonder why they do that. Then I bought the Japanese set and I'm like, yep, now I know why. There's my answer. It's a water energy. All right. Eldegoss, Energy Search, Quick Ball. Her Quick Ball was really good. Uh, Goldeen, Yamper, Skoropi. Stupid octopus in the boxing gloves. Wooloo, Krabby, Reverse, and oh, more Peko. Hey, hello, the regular V. Hey, look, we pulled, we pulled more Peko V Max and more Peko V. There we go. This is like mimicking the Japanese set. What is going on, Nintendo? Are y'all watching me? Probably not. All right, more Peko V. There we go. Ooh, look, look at the shine. Look at that. Yo, my lighting game's on point this video. Yeah, I'm learning. Y'all may not believe me, but believe it, but I'm learning. Setting up better. I just can't learn how to do this damn thing. There we go. Baby steps. Baby steps. Why are they... There we go. More Pico. So more Pico VMAX into more Pico V. That is pretty cool. But that is the new version of the GXs from Sun and Moon. So in this set, they are no longer GXs or tag teams. They're just Vs and VMAXs. Although um, I'm on a, one of those... Full art trainers, that'd be pretty cool. I think it's Professor Research and Payday or whatever his name is. Some dude or girl with purple hair. I forgot who what their name was. I had the I pulled the regular card in a pre-release, but some dude next to me pulled like the full art, so kinda want that. Dark energy. Alright. Thwacky. <laughs> I like that name. Pokemon catcher, Drizile. Uh, Vulpix, Mana with the cool crochet art. Roselia looking at her freaking plants. That's kind of weird. Choodle, Blip Bug. I just realized those are the eyes. I thought those were feet for a second. And Santa, Santaconda. Oh, that name is creative. And a Durant. <laughs> Durant. As I make fun of the names, they get worse. Durant. Cool. Kevin Durant. Is that Kevin Durant from the Brooklyn Nets? Okay, I'll stop. All right. Next pack. Here we go. All right, Whew. code card. I hope you guys are enjoying the free code cards. I really don't play that damn game, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Hop again, overpowered prick. Pokey Gear 3.0, Pseudo Wudo, cool art. Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik, Silicobra, Silicobra, Build Pug, and Hitmonlee, but uh, with Hitmonchan in the back with a verse. And oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. <laughs> 